so today we're going to be taking a look at another steelbook today but i'm going to have to transport it here so we're going to have a look at that see if we can see if we can sonic it into my hand here because because the editors yes today we're going to be looking at the recently released doctor who series 6 steelbook today on who the espresso and i'm going to go get it changed because i'm about to pass out if you take a picture so here it is doctor who the complete sixth season on blu-ray steelbook here today in my hands and I've moved off my plastic splint and onto some body socks. I think that's an adorable name but yeah they're cute and they leave little rings around my fingers when I take them off but yeah. Anyway we're, talk we're here to talk about the fabulous new steelbook which is I've been really getting into this line. I went back and bought the series 3 steelbook um, recently during lockdown just so I could ha have as much a complete collection as I could possibly get. I doubt I'm going to be able to get the series 1 and 2 steelbooks now and certainly not the series 9 one but it's nice to have these seasons on Blu-ray at the very least, so I'm just happy to keep collecting them either way. So we've got lovely artwork by Sophie Coldry. She did the Series 4 and 5 steelbook, so it's sort of nice sort of symmetry. I think she's captured, I think the Series 6 and Series 5 steelbooks are going to look great together. I think each era has its own style, and I'm loving the uh, Matt Smith style here. This is the first time I've owned Doctor Who Series 6 on Blu-ray. I only ever bought, I used to buy in the old days, the sort of part one, part two sets. They're, they're being put up for sale, so I haven't got them with me at the moment. But this is obviously a lot more streamlined because those were big chunky box sets with like, I don't know, four like disc like packets, I guess, <laughs> DVD cases. I don't know why I called them disc packets, but yeah, anyway. This is the Doctor Who The Complete Sixth Season, and it is the first DVD in my collection with this horrendous New 12 logo. Just thought I'd get that out of the way before we talk about anything else. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very mixed feelings about that. But yeah, anyway, we've got the six discs, six disc set. It's actually very weird because like series one to four have like three to four discs, and then this set has six discs for some reason. I don't know why, because it's got about the same amount of episodes as series four. I mean, it's a bit odd, but never mind, I suppose. I mean, even the special still, but that had five discs, and that's only got, like, what, five episodes, I think? Five episodes? Yeah, that sounds about right in my head. Probably wrong, but, you know, never mind. Anyway, to, that's that. You've got the lovely Doctor Who logo, the complete sixth season, and you've got the art carrying on to the J card here. The spine there, we'll take a close look at that later. Then on the back of the J card, we have a lovely uh, little starring thing which was always a common thing on the dvds as well so it's nice that they've carried that trend on there with matt smith karen gillen arthur darvel and alex kingston you've got some episodes i think it's a bit of a mixed bag here season six personally but the artwork more than justifies this purchase for me i mean also the fact that i'm starting to build up this as a blu-ray collection as well so and obviously you've got the wealth of special features which is sort of absent from more recent doctor who releases which is another reason i get these because i've never seen any of these i might have seen the comic relief sketches because they're on youtube and i'm interested to know what these additional scenes are um because i don't know if they are on youtube and then of course you've got confidential cut downs the last of the confidential cut downs trailers prequels monster files audio commentaries all the usual stuff and then you've obviously got the lovely back artwork there and some legal majumbo Okay, removing the J cards, you are treated with this lovely clean artwork of the steel book. And actually, at this point, with the logos on the side varying so much, I'm just thinking about displaying them clean because it's much more um, uniform than if you have them with the sleeves on at this point. I mean, sure, there's the logos different on a couple of them, but I mean, I can accept that to be honest. It's much it's compared to having ridiculous different varied of. I mean, I'll show you what I mean later, but for now, let's talk about this clean artwork. And Sophie Coldrew really has outdone herself here. It's a beautiful steelbook here. Got Matt in this lovely, lush, green sort of trench coat. You've got the lovely Sonic dynamic posing of the Sonic. You've also got these lovely sort of, I can't remember, the markings they put on their hands. And I remember when I was little, I used to put these on my hands left, right and centre. In fact, I, feel, I think I've got a couple of pictures of me with that somewhere i don't know where that is now that's a long time ago you've got a lovely nice picture of the tardis there which i recognize from promo images for series six you've got a lovely picture of a very dynamic shot of river there and her lovely costume that we never we never got an action figure of i mean we got we got one of her in her sort of space suit but we never got her in this lovely sort of grayish sort of i don't know what you call it but it's sort of it's a very nice outfit and it works very well with her character you've got rory looking 
Look at his tagging on the end, not really knowing what's going on like usual. We've got these lovely bits, bolts of lightning and this lovely green colouring. I think there's a lovely, I think that's a nice sort of texture to it as well because of the steel bits. And you've got some nice light peering out of there. And then of course you've got Amy just looking on, looking very hot and bothered because it's very hot in America. Um, on the back you've got the lovely, uh, this lovely picture of Idris here from the Doctor's wife. It was a great episode, one of the standouts of the season. Got a lovely picture of the astronaut there with the Doctor regenerating reflected on lit by Lake Silencio. You got you got Madame Caveria there. You got lovely three silence and the moon behind them. And again, you got the lightning bolts and the sort of green patterning and the markings repeated on the side. Here is the lovely clean spine without a fear of love the ratings scandal. <laughs> and you got the lovely sort of steelbook patterning and the lightning also continued towards the bottom. Also included is this lovely helpful leaflet with all the information about what's on each disc and all the special features and stuff. You've got this lovely promo image that I loved at the time of the three gang, you know, the gang reflected in the astronaut helmet. You can't really tell it's the astronaut helmet because it's such a zoomed in picture but you've also got the lovely sort of American flag down there. You've got the TARDIS in the background. It's one of my favourite promo images and of course you've got the new logo and the complete series. And then on the back you've got the lovely sort of patterning repeated here with the lightning bolts and the lovely markings again. And it's basically a disc breakdown of each disc. There's six discs in this set. So it's nice to get a nice little wealth of special features. I'll let you pause that if you're interested to know what's on each disc. Although I think it will probably be the same layout as the original releases because for some reason when they did these Blu-rays they made series six and seven the same length. I believe series five as well. They kept Matt Smith's discs all the same. I don't know if it's just because he was the current doctor at the time, but either way, I don't know why they did that, but they did. That's just life, I suppose. But yeah, lovely little leaflet, always very handy to have. On a side note, this must be the first time that we've had a... Ooh, the discs are loose. Of course they are. I mean, yeah, so the discs are loose, as usual. Um, are they in the right order is the real question. But anyway, I was just about to mention that actually I've just noticed that we don't actually have any advertisement to, advertisement to add to my collection, which is sad because I love collecting little bits of paper with ads on for some reason. But yes, as I expected, the discs are in the wrong order because guess what? Disc one is over here. I mean, I don't know, am I the only one who sort of reorganises them? So you've got disc one on this side. Well, disc one at the bottom and then I'd have up to disc four, I presume. So that is really oddly pre produced. So if I look at this, what's on, what's here? So we've got, I'm gonna just, aha, so, okay, so disc one, we have the Christmas Carol, the lovely picture of the shark there. You've got a silent on this second disc and you've got a ganger on the other disc. That sort of harkens back to the days when we had different artwork on each disc and not the same artwork on each disc, which is sort of nice to be reminded of. You've obviously got the nice sort of TARDIS cot, um, sort of, sort of, motif on each disc as well so that's the first three discs uh then i believe there's three more discs on the other side and they're on the other side which is really annoying because i don't know am i the only one who gets like you know triggered by that i don't know probably anyway let's have a look at the other discs. on the last three discs we have strax with his gun and that features all the episodes on disc four on disc five you have a lovely corroded cyberman from closing time i'm surprised we didn't get like river song or something or madame kavarian on one of these discs I think a Cyberman is a bit random considering they're not part of the finale. I would have maybe liked something from the finale on that disc. And then lovely on the last disc you've got the very nice dynamic promo image of Matt Smith there with his stomach looking very moody and brooding there as well. Again with the TARDIS cut motif continued on each disc. Removing the discs allows you to see a sort of widened version of the promo image on the leaflet with the lovely Series 6 promo. I think out of all the promos this one does look the dullest on the inside to be honest. It might have been nice to have something else on the inside, like the promo image that they used on the cover of Series 6 Part 2. That would have been nice to have on the inside. I think it works well on the leaflet, but I think because it's such a sort of, what's the word, portrait image, it's a portrait image, it doesn't quite work so well as a landscape. But either way, it does look very nice and it's nice to have an image underneath the discs as well. It is another thing I would like to say is I hate this stacked format. I don't know if there's a way to get it so you would have disc trays. If not, then I guess it's the only way, but still, it's just a very nice sort of set to have. And as you can see, I have now indeed put the discs in the correct order again. Well, I don't know if there is a correct order, but this is the correct order for me, personally. So yeah, that is the inside of the steelbook.
So here is the Series 5 and Series 6 steelbooks together. They look absolutely lovely together. You've got a nice synergy of Matt with his Sonic on both of them. And you, of course, have got Amy. And you sort of see their era developers. You've got a slightly younger Matt to a slightly older Matt. And then when we have Series 7, it'll be nice to have a, and again, a slightly older Matt in Karen. I don't know. Will Karen even be on the cover of the Series 7 steelbook? Or will they go with Jenna? I don't know. I mean... You never know, they might do Series 7 over two steelbooks. In fact, if you did three, then you'd have Series 7 Part 1, because that feels like a season in its own right, and then Series 7 Part 2 being another season in its own right, and then you've got the specials, I don't know. They probably won't do that, but, I mean, looking at the colour coordination, if I was to guess what colour would be next, I think we'd have a reddish-purple, maybe, for Series 7. And then I think we'll have... Maybe, I don't know what colour theme we'd have for a special steelbook. I hope we get a special steelbook. I think there's definitely enough to justify a special steelbook. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get Dave the Doctor on Blu-ray, and I'm, I don't know if I'm willing to do that, even because I, I have it just on DVD. But they, they sh I, I think they should do a special steelbook, personally. I mean, they did a 2009 special, so it'd be nice to have a 50th anniversary steelbook as well. So yeah, that is the Matt Smith steelbook collection looking nice. I mean, it would be perfect if we didn't have... Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's have a look at the Steelbook spines lined up all together and you'll see just what I mean about how messed up the Steelbook sort of spines are. So this is my Blu-ray shelf and hopefully, eventually, my entire collection will be either on this, these lovely Blu-ray sets or on the Steelbook. <laughs> I'm still not entirely convinced we'll get 60s, 60s collection Blu-ray box sets, so I'm slowly building up a nice little area of 60s Steelbooks there, hopefully to add Fury of the Deep soon. But here are the new series steelbooks, and as you can see, I do not have the steelbooks for series one, two, and two, but we do have the lovely steelbooks for series one to six, three to six, ten, and twelve. I don't know if I'm ever going to get the series eleven steelbook. It might be nice just to have them all on steelbook, but even then, I mean, twice upon a time is always going to stick out like a sore thumb unless we get a twice upon a time steelbook. I mean, they could do because there's like apparently there's like half an hour of footage missing from twice upon a time. So if they made a steelbook with that footage, I would buy that to be fair. So, I mean, yeah. So this is what the steelbooks of these series look like lined up, and there you can see the lovely logos all messed up and really triggering me. But the only thing that has seemed to remain consistent is this lovely Blu-ray logo right down the bottom for now but that's for now I suppose but yeah I mean I was sort of all right for it with it for a while because of a while it was alternating between not having the Irish logo and then having the Irish logo but now we've got this ruining that so yeah even the nice little synergy that was available to me does not exist but yeah anyway that's the steelbooks looking together nicely on the spines along with the lovely collection blu-ray set so there you have it, Doctor Who, the complete sixth season on Steelbook Blu-ray. While this series might not have some of the best episodes in my opinions, I will always look back at this series as being one of the most nostalgic periods of Doctor Who for me. Like, I watched Doctor Who in, when, in the RTD era, but I wasn't really aware of it, let's face it. But this series is one where I vividly remember watching each episode. I remember getting, have all the memories of the like markings on my hands and go to Doctor Who experience right in the middle of this series. That, that was a year because they were playing the trailer for the second part. We had the costumes of Idris. We even had the drunk TARDIS there. So, I mean, seeing all that in the context of this series is one of the most exciting periods for Doctor Who, in my opinion. So even if the episodes do let me down a bit on a couple of rewatches, particularly the flesh two-parter, and the finale is a bit underwhelming. I will always look back at this series with fond memories. I'm just so happy to have it on Blu-ray at last. So yes, thank you for watching my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, why not consider subscribing down below? Uh, you could like this video, leave a comment, tell me about your thoughts on Series 6 or your thoughts on this steelbook. And basically, generally, thanks for watching. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, why not consider subscribing down below to the official Ruby and Espresso YouTube channel.